guys! Welcome back with more Let's Play Tales of Vesperia. In the last episode, uh, we got lost in the desert, I guess you could say. Uh, uh, but somehow, we've been saved and ended up in this kind of weird town. Uh, hey, Carol. Ah, oh, he looks like he's okay. He's sleeping. And we got an hourglass. That's nice. And an divide. Cool. And Rita. Well, at least it looks like everybody's safe, or at least they're safe. We're in what happened to everybody else. Okay. Uh, if you come over here and check the wall, you'll see something that'll make you sad if you've played Tales of the Abyss. <laughs> Hello. Uh, I guess. I guess we're alright. We weren't near the town entrance. We could barely see the town. All right, cool. Uh, let's see what's going on in this town. Where the hell is everybody else? Oh, it's kind of pretty here. Oh, there's Patty. Oh, Good morning. and Judith and Nacelle. Don't you want a morning kiss? No. Pat. <sighs> oh, Yuri, are you feeling better now? I guess. Yeah, how about you guys? Are you all right? Yeah, what what the fuck? How did we get here? Yes, it would seem that way. We all collapsed in the desert, right? So what are we doing in this town? Seems like someone came to our aid. It was very nice of them, but uh Though we're not sure who. Last thing we saw was that dragon. I wonder what kind of praiseworthy fellow could cross such a toasty desert and save so many people. Toasty, that's sure is a way to put that desert, isn't it? We need to find whoever it was and thank them. Yeah. What about the couple who was with us? They appear to have been brought here as well. Oh, good. So they didn't get a look at our rescuers either? No. Apparently they lost consciousness like the rest of us. I believe the two of them a look around town. I wonder, was it just a mirage? <sighs> what do you mean? Oh, just before I blacked out, I saw that dragon that got the air under control back at Kados. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Didn't you see it, Estelle? No. I did tell it to choke my bones. No, I didn't see anything. And that monster must have saved us or something. That seems unlikely. A monster saved us? I can't believe that. Was it just a mirage then? Who knows? So, what's the story? Where exactly are we? The kindly gentleman is looking into that very matter for us. You mean Raven. Gent oh, you mean the old man. <laughs> Yay, Rita and Carol are up. There's no barrier here. This town is weird. That is a beautiful blue sky. I thought the mountains in the east were supposed to be uninhabited. Well, apparently not. Rita, Carol, over here. What's that? A feather. The monster that attacked us in the desert dropped it. Didn't look like it belonged to that monster. I didn't see any feathers on that thing. Nope, just gross goop. That's one of Pharaoh's feathers. Whoop, ignore that. I should go into airplane mode while I'm recording, but uh, I fucking forget. It is pretty. It's a key but item why too, would that so. that monster have one of Pharaoh's feathers? Oh, fucking no, Asel. Man, there's mm, so yawning much so we much know. today. Damn. Welcome back. Repeat. Watch what repeat does to Yuri. It's so and cute. Just why was it up to me to go tromping off on a recon mission? If I'd gone, Don't know, this man. sweet young lady would have been Look at him, he's so happy that That's Yuri's back. Unsafe. Yuri's, you're okay. Unsafe? You can't possibly mean me. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. I think I'm gonna gag. Suppose I don't mind people thinking I'm dangerous. Ugh. Adds to my mysterious charm. Raven, it no. Seems we're in Jormgen. You know, that town from the diary on the ghost ship. Uh, what? <sighs> Wait, this is Jormgen? I 
guess. The town that needed the clear seal crystal to protect itself from monsters? The town from before re most recorded history? It makes sense. They don't have a barrier here. That must be why they were searching for a way to drive away the monsters. I guess. But that was a thousand years ago. Yeah, and I find it strange that they were getting by at all without a barrier. Especially for a thousand years. You're right. I oh my god, I cannot stop yawning today. What if we were to show this case to one of the locals and ask them? Maybe they know something. Yes, we might learn something about Pharaoh that way as well. Even though most human beings don't seem to know about Pharaoh. I agree. So, time to scooby doo it up and split up again. Heartland Town, your man, you're good. It's very pretty here. Look at all that wisteria. I prefer purple, wist purple wisteria personally, but the yellow wisteria is very nice. Reunited! Cool. Now there's some shit we can run around and do here. What was the deal with that weird monster we ran into in the sands of Kogor? Mm. Just the thought of it still sends chills down my spine. Was that thing even alive? Huh? What do you mean? Well, it wasn't anything like other creatures that make their home in the desert. Huh. Another astute observation from Captain Carroll. Whatever it was, I hope we never see it again. Here's hoping. Me too. Okay. So, we did get the Wonder Chef. Uh, last time. It is missable if you're not careful. Okay, so we can switch out pudding. Uh, we want to give Judy the croquette recipe. Uh, I know Yuri does most of the cooking because there's a thing we're going to be using that for. But Judy... Oh, full fuck. Okay. Um, we'll do it later. Uh, Judy will teach us a new recipe by preparing the croquette recipe. So... It could take a couple of tries, so I went ahead and added it to the thing. Oh fuck. Uh, we're okay. we got some money, let's see. Bye. We're definitely gonna stock up on... The fucking rooster, I swear to god. Lettuce. I want a salad. Uh, let's stock up on some food items. That, no that bitch has been noisy all day. He starts crowing at like 4 o'clock in the morning. Let's see. Hmm. Those are handy and all, but I don't really need them. Let's see. We're... Let's get another magic lens since I have been actively trying to, uh,. Manage all that. So this guy is your synthesis guy in this town. We're just gonna click through it. Oh, uh, I did go- I know I was concerned at the end of last episode. Burn spreader. Okay, cool. Um, about uh, having missed side quest, I did go back and fix that. So should, we should be right on track with all side quests right now. Uh, census. Let's see. Uh, the only person I care about learning half quarter minimum damage is Rena. Now you may go, that doesn't make any fucking sense. It will, I promise. Go ahead and do that. I still can't learn the Surugi. Blue Dragon Sword, we're good on. Why would you want minimum damage? Okay, we do have a stinger. Uh, oof. We're gonna have her learn the regular stinger first, and then we'll upgrade it. Let's do... Hmm. Let's do that one. Don't I have the Ogre Sword currently equipped? Oh no, we have the uh, Ogre Sword plus one. That's fine. Uh, we have one high Surugi. We don't have to worry about that. We could use a Spine Ripper plus one. Ooh. Let's see. 
Let's get a flamberge. Flamberge. I don't know. Oh, God. I hate axes, Yuri. Why? Why are there special things you can only learn from the axe? Uh, let's go with Alpha. It's gonna be forever before we're able to learn all this stuff, so. Fatal XC. Yeah, okay, Carol's equipment turned into blah blah blah. Uh, not worry about it for Judy. Like, for completion's sake, if you want to learn those, by all means. Rita's the only person I've ever used those arts with. Oh, I want this. I need cockatrice claws, huh? Hmm. What she got on now? The war harpoon. Uh, let's do the plus alpha. We're running out of money here. You don't have to do all this now. But, uh, I am. Huh. Let's go ahead and do that. We have two wizard horns. Okay, whatever. Um. Damn it, I need all these things. We just don't have the money. Let's get Raven something. Burn spreader. I don't have the stuff for that yet. Fuck, I need another spider web. Uh, you know what? That'll do for now. We will worry about the rest later. Okay, so let's talk to some folks. It's very pretty here, though. Look at all these lovely flowers. Yeah, kind of, I guess. It's lovely. Hey, look, there's that f the couple from earlier. I didn't fly or swim. Okay. Oh, yeah. I guess. Hmm. Of giant monsters attack. My giant monster attacks, huh? I see a kitty. Oh man, this is pretty. I love Wisteria. Do your best, dude. Whoop. More skits. So after all we went through to cross the desert, we can't meet Pharaoh. And after you've all risked your lives to help me. Maybe it's better that we didn't find him after all. Yeah. If we had to fight him now, we probably wouldn't make it out. Think about it, though. Pharaoh can fly. He's free to be pretty much anywhere at any time. Tracking him down will be a tall order unless he's got a lair somewhere in the area. Ugh. No one's saying that meeting him will be impossible. We might get some information if we ask around in the town. You're right. Thank you. Both of you. All right. Okay, so the Colosseum exists in these people's minds, I guess. That's, um... Weird. You wanna die in the Colosseum? Welp. To each their own, I suppose. So let's go up here and talk to these folks. Yeah, hopefully they didn't. Yeah, me too. There's a chest and a dog! Woof. Woof. Man, look at that view. I have a lot of questions, but I don't think you can answer them. I'm sure he's trying. Cut the guy some slack. Uh, chest. There we go. Simple tent. Uh... Yeah, we'll go ahead and pick it up, even though we're full. Let's talk to her. She's a slightly different color from everybody else. That box. And therefore probably important. Do you know something about this box? 
God, we'll stick out like a sore thumb in this town. Launch he had it. Where did you get it? I think that's the same voice actress who does Sodia too. Well, we um raided a dead body. On a ship called the Atherum, my lovely lady. Have you heard of it? Of course. You know about the Atherum too? At least Raven knows how to be uh somewhat yes. suave with things. Well, we haven't come across it on the ocean. Did you see Launchy? In a manner of speaking. And Launchy would be Oh, Launchy is my love. I'm sorry to suddenly get so personal. I mean, it's all right. Your love. Damn it. Raven. Hey. Whoops. You're hopeless. My thumb twitch, sorry. Um all that we saw was uh, the ship itself. Oh. I see. Could I ask your name? Yes. Oh, my name is Uifon. That's the name that was in the diary we found on the Athera. <laughs> Estelle. Perhaps she's a descendant with the same name? A thousand years later? Do you know about the clear seal crystal? They say it has the power to drive back monsters. Does it though? The sage said it was necessary to make a barrier around the town. Is that what's in the box? Well, we don't know. Yes, we came to deliver this box to you. I, I see. <laughs> she got hey, the key. Is that the key? Could I have the box? Yeah, let's uh, let's get this bad boy opened up. Cause uh, it's been causing wow. us some trouble. Is this the clear seal crystal? Ooh, how pretty. Looks like it. That's big. Big rock. It's so sparkly and glittery. A treasure even more beautiful than sea sparkles blooming on the surface of the ocean. So who's that sage you were talking about earlier? Another valid question. The sage is a great Critian who came to our town from across the desert. Huh. A Critian? Don't look at Judy like she know every Critian. Well, creating a That's barrier racist, is Carol. basically creating a blastia. Blastia? Uh, Have you not heard we of can make blastia? blastia? With technology, right? I mean, everybody knows what blastia there is. There are people who do. You saw the blastia at Emmied Hill in Kerbakram. But I don't think that sage guy is the one who made those blastia with messed up formulas. <laughs> I have no idea what uh, you're talking about. I'm sorry. I don't really understand. Huh. But the sage said that the clear CL crystal was needed to create the barrier. So long she set out to look for it. It's been three years since he left. Three years. Three years, huh? Timelines don't I quite add up. Worried. Wait, this sounds weird. Oh, that's not the only thing that sounds weird, Carol. Yeah, the stories don't match up. You think she could have miscounted by a thousand years? No. How old is she anyway? Not a thousand. The same thing could have happened three years ago, or a thousand years ago, probably. They say that history repeats itself, but who really knows? Does move in cycles, doesn't it? Is that Sage in this town? Where does he live? Oh, yes. He lives in the house farthest into the town. I think it might be faster if we went to talk to the Sage. Yes, maybe so. Um, if you're going there, could you take the clear seal crystal to the sage for me? Sure thing, girl. Yes, of course. Thank you very much. We're already on like three other fetch quests. Why not? Except this one's more of a deliver quest than okay, a fetch quest. Okay, let's go. I like the house designs of this town. Ugh. Key item: clear seal crystal. More skits. This town's weird. It's in the middle of the desert, but look at all the plants. It's an oasis, Carol. It sort of reminds me of Mantake. Yeah, but there is something different. Really? There may be more here than meets the eye. Maybe the truth is hidden away. Leave it to Judith to put things into perspective. The better the intuition, the more you see. Hey, I have, I have intuition. intuition. He didn't deny either of you did. That's how it works in Bloodborne, though. The higher your insight, the more you can see. Sometimes to your own detriment. It's a kitty. 
Meow. I've actually got a moment today without the cat. Hey! Excuse me. What are you doing here? Huh? Hey, that's. Yeah. You're. Duke. Everybody, every, you all know who he is. Who exactly? Oh, except maybe Patty. We've run into each other a couple times. Yeah, <laughs> needless to say. How have you come to this place? I don't fucking know, man. We got lost in the desert. What do you mean, how? We walked. As in, across the desert. <laughs> I love Yuri. I see. And yet, how did you... What are you asking, bro? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no matter. For what reason have you come? We're a little curious about this. Look how this pretty This must have cost you dearly to obtain. No, n not exactly. Actually, it just sort of landed in our lap. Hmm. That was quite a miracle. I guess. I did have to fight a big scary You're planning on making Dark a barrier blast for it. You, aren't you? You're free to go pretending you're a sage, but forget about making any blastia. Well, I mean, he's clearly not a Christian, and she said he was the sage was a Christian. Who would even consider building a barrier blastia with something that's so obviously not a core? But it is a solid mass of air. It simply lacks an inscribed formula. He has such a high waist. It's so it's weird. I don't know. Formula? What do you mean? They are most commonly known as Apothea, of which the clear CL crystal is one. He gotta example. be tall too, because Yuri's like six one? Six foot? So I can't remember exactly how tall Yuri is. I'd have to check the guide. That the treasure you've been looking for, old man? Yeah, it is. Also, I am not the sage. Well, I figured. Huh? What you doing, bro? No such being exists any longer. Mm, that's a problem. Uh, we'll need to get that back from you in that case. I never noticed quite how similar the front of his hair is to Yuri's. Like, it's different, but it's similar. Neither I nor humanity have a need for such a thing. He's got a little more curl to his. Whoa! What are you doing? Hold on a sec! <laughs> Wait a second! Notice how his sword changed color. It's the same phenomenon we saw at Cave Mock. Oh man. Just when I found one. That's okay, Raven. The Apathea bring only chaos to humanity. They are better off returned to air. Return to air? Is that really all you did just now? Magic show! There's <laughs> still no reason to go smashing other people's things. What kind of a person treats treasure so poorly? Duke gives zero fucks. Wasn't the clear seal crystal, the Apathea, needed to save this town from the monsters? This town has no use for a barrier, and no need to be saved. Yeah, it does seem like weirdly peaceful this here. Place like has been granted everlasting calm. eerily peaceful, like Twin Peaks levels of peaceful. Come to mention it, it is pretty quiet here. But still, there are monsters like Pharaoh nearby. How do you know of Pharaoh? You were mm, Duke. What the fuck? You showed up in Dongress right after he had been there. I'd ask I'm you pretty the sure we thing. asked you about him. You seem to know about him yourself. He's a big bird. Please, Not big bird, tell but us what big you know. bird. Pharaoh referred to me as a poison. If you guys haven't, you should look up Brazilian big bird. Oh my god, he's horrifying. I love him. I see. Do you? Because you know none of us seem to. You? There is a being in this world who possesses a power the Endelikea despise. Too many vowels. Me? What could that be? This being is known as the Child of the Full Moon. Uh oh. Child of the Full Moon. Like in the legend. I would say so. By Entelikea, you mean Pharaoh? That is correct. What are the Entelikea exactly? But what would the Entelikea have against me? Against a child of the full moon? I mean, we've what heard a little bit of the Entelikea. What is the child of the full moon possesses that they despise? 
that answer lies only within the hearts of the Entelikea themselves. Well, one of them could be ours to tell me at some point. Which be means nice. I've got no choice but to find Pharaoh and ask him myself. Do not be foolish. Meeting Pharaoh would end only in the death of the child of the full moon. She's a person, you asshole. But, Estelle, give it a rest. Hey, Regay, uh, Jaeger from Ruinsgate talked about the Entelikea earlier, didn't he? Yep, that's where we first heard about him. Something about them being the ancient race that built Nordopolica. So Pharaoh built Nordopolica? That doesn't seem possible. Oh. Uh -huh. Take your leave. There's nothing more for Get you. Get the fuck out of here. Wait, there's something I want to ask you too. No. What were you doing at that Erkrene? Just who are you? What is that sword of yours? So, the air crane she mentions could either be Cave Mock or could be the crane at the Weezen of Kados. Uh, if you miss the side quest at the Weezen of Kados, you have to assume it's Cave Mock. But. Those matters exceed your comprehension. Do they, though? Do not ask of them again. <laughs> uh, no, Rita, take I it have easy, girl. More to say. Where do you get off? I don't want to know. I don't want to know where he gets off. I like your house. It looked chill. I mean, it's not his house, but... What's up, Judy? Girl, what? Everything okay? Duke may have been the one that saved us in the desert. No, probably not. Hmm. Maybe. I'm gonna go and thank him. Hold up. He doesn't seem the type to do something like that. Yeah. You don't think so? No. Just a hunch. You said the child of the full moon he mentioned was the sister of Bray Vesperia, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. In the story we heard back in Nordopolica. Goddess who bathes this world in her golden light, you are named child of the full moon. Your brother, Bray Vesperia, watches over us from the skies. You remain bound to your mother, the Earth. And we'll shelter her with your unceasing protection. Is there like a hidden meaning in there? I don't know. There does seem to be some sort of crossover between myth and history. I'm not sure. But maybe it's more than just an old legend. Maybe. Remaining to protect the Earth, huh? Could protecting the Earth have anything to do with ruling over this world? Maybe. You mean like becoming the Emperor? If Estelle is the child of the full moon, that would add up. Yeah, we can't forget that Estelle is in line to become the ruler of the Empire. Which means all the previous emperors would have been on Pharaoh's hit list. See, I don't know about that. I've never heard of anything like that. A hit list? You had never heard of Pharaoh before a couple of weeks ago. Hmm. But this does leave us a lot of questions. This all sounds pretty complicated. Yeah, I suppose it might be a bit too complicated for you, Patty. Rude. It's too complicated for you, too, old man. Rita can explain it to you later. Me? Can she? I don't know. I don't think anybody Should really knows what's going on. thinking more about what to do next? I'm gonna stay here. There are things I've got to investigate. Like what? Investigate? Ain't shit here. Clear seal crystals, apatheia, all kinds of things. Yeah, but honestly, I have a few bones to pick with Mr. Warm and Fuzzy over there. You mean Duke? If you're all going back, we'll have to say our goodbyes here. I love Yuri's face. It's like, okay, you say so, Rita. What? Come on, Estelle. Oh, that's too bad. I don't imagine the desert will be much fun on your own. But good luck. Oh, that's oh, right. Oh, Judy, coming I in clutch. I can't go anywhere without crossing that desert. Better if we all do it together. We can afford to take a load off while she's checking things out, can't we? I'm pretty interested in Apatheia myself. If we're going back into the desert, we need to take time to prepare. We don't want to kill over again. Well, hopefully, we won't have to fight any horrifying monsters again. That's true. How about we leave tomorrow? Rita, one day should be enough, right? Shouldn't be a problem. Thanks. I appreciate it. No problem, Rita. Huh, you're welcome. Okay then, we'll meet up near the exit tomorrow morning. That's right. not a day, See that's like then. one evening. 
but and we've parted with everybody all right so uh, real quick let's see saw Carol over there so they're kind of like hinting at you to go talk to all all your party members Raven should be around here so there he is hey old man you can feel free to go on ahead to Norda Polica hey there youngin what you want to get rid of me so soon? I'm sure he doesn't want to cross the desert by himself either. Wrong. I just wouldn't want you to miss the new moon and your chance to deliver the letter all on our account. Honestly, I could do fine without your concern. Don't be an asshole. Wrong again. If Ray Vesperia gets in the way of all Tusk's work, we'll be apologizing to the Dawn for an eternity. I mean... What? You're too young to bother yourself with such fluff. It's a matter of Ray Vesperia being trustworthy. You see what I mean? Yeah. We've still got time left until the new moon. We'll be fine. You sure? <laughs> so on your head be it. I mean... Anyway, ain't about to go back through the desert and that cave myself. If I got killed by some monster on the way there, not only would the letter not get delivered, but Brave Vesperia certainly wouldn't look very trustworthy to potential clients then, would they? In that case, we collect your bones and the letter and deliver them as promised. <laughs> oh, how kind of... Wait, hey! We'll take your bones to Bellius. You won't go blaming me if you don't manage to deliver it on time. No problem. I won't. Let's see. I know Carol's up here. I keep pressing the trigger button to run, like in Dragon Quest and Bravely Default 2. Doesn't work that way. Hey, Carol. What you got to say? We weren't able to find Pharaoh after all. Well, no. Yeah, our first job as a guild was an egregious failure. What do you think? Should we go back to Dongrest? That might be best. But would you be okay with that, Yuri? And what about Estelle? Well, I mean... I'd be fine with it. As for Estelle... We gotta figure out where to go from here, I guess. I'll answer up to her. Yep. Alright. This sure is a serene little town. It's quiet. Almost too quiet. Huh? Oh yeah, it is, isn't it? No guilds, no empire. It's a little strange. Yeah, but I think it's relaxing. Almost too relaxing. Yeah, but even so, I prefer Dongrest. That's how everyone is. Everybody prefers the place where they grew up. Yeah, I mean... Yuri? Same for me, I suppose. Well, yeah, sure. But if we're going to work together in Brave Vesperia, we'll have to decide on a single place for our home base. Oh, don't worry. We'll worry about that later. Always make someplace new, you know. Someplace new? Yeah. yeah. You know, everyone thinks of Dongrest as the Union City, but it's really Altosk City. I mean, the Dawn basically founded the like city. That. Brave Vesperia could make its own city. Brave Vesperia's own city. Yeah, I like that idea. We'd have to be a much bigger guild well, than we are now. Way, we've got a lot of jobs as a guild ahead of us before we can be thinking about things like that. Yeah. Now that you mention it, Nordopolica is Polistrali's city, isn't it? Yup. Yeah, if you think of it that way, Nordopolica is more of a guild city than Dongrist, even. Yeah, and Bellius rules the city, too. Nordopolica, hmm... Leader of a city, Duce of a guild. I wonder what sort of person Bellius is. Guess we'll have to find out. Okay. I did mean to go back up in here. Because this <laughs> fucking throw my microphone at myself. I have nothing left to say to you. She's just gonna sit there and stare until you talk. <laughs> They're gonna have a staring contest. Oh, he's not having it. You're not gonna follow him? No, he wasn't talking to me What's anyway. What's the point? He's not gonna talk to me. So this was a complete waste of time? What, are you wanting to leave now, Yuri? Oh, I wouldn't go that far. Apathea? When the air crane went berserk, 
Regay, I mean Jaeger, was carrying this box. Well, just like when your magic went berserk. This box was what messed up my magic. Maybe it wasn't so much the box as what was in it. You think the apathea is what's causing the air cranny to go out of control? Judging from the evidence, it could be a valid hypothesis. So when the Blastia and Heliord was going out of control, you think there was Apathea nearby? Maybe. And the Air Crane and Cave Mach too? There may have been. Otherwise, maybe the Apathea has been damaging the whole world's Air Crane little by little. Mmm, that's not good. And a large distortion just happened to appear then. It's a weird time for a large distortion I to see. appear. It's really nothing more than a guess, but it could be right. You don't sound very sure of yourself. In science, you continually make hypotheses, then test them, and you get closer and closer to the truth. That's how it is. Reed is basically a walking science fair. Hmm. Well, okay. Maybe I can do something with this after all. Oh? What are you gonna do now? The next step after a hypothesis is testing it. <laughs> Blink. Alright. Well, we talked to Rita. So we should have Judy, Estelle. Yeah, we don't even have repeat with us. Judy, Estelle, Patty, and I don't think repeat gets like a little vignette. I think he just is. Yeah, he's just here with Estelle. Okay, we're actually going to go ahead and stop the episode here. In the next one, we'll finish talking to everybody. And then uh, head out of this weirdo town back to the desert. We got other th places to be. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!